Hey there, welcome back. So, a lot of things happened last time. I'm gonna ignore all these and do story. Um, we made in the Gomi Jewels hive, like the base of operations, basically. And they know, they apparently they've been making fake yen and spreading around the city to keep it functioning as it is. The problem is Nanda has technically been using me. Ooh. Okay. For Breaker. Nice. A lot of these items are expensive, but they're good. But yeah, so Namba's been using me to get to the Gomi Jewel. Basically, his brother was a reporter, and he was on to the Gomi Jewel making fake currency, like making counterfeit money. And so as soon as he saw the fake bill that Ichiban had, well, he decided to follow me until, you know, and we now figured that out, and they were going to take Namba away, but what happened is we fought for him, and he escaped, so he's temporarily out of the party until probably we meet up with him. And on top of that, we learned Mabuchi did kill Nonamiya. Which, yeah, we officially have uh, the proof. We don't think we actually have the proof, but we do know now that he did kill Nonamiya. Because we saw him going with his men. Well, not What's much he we got can in do. front of him. A shogi board? Is he playing shogi outdoors? Huh. Maybe I should challenge him sometime. Nah, I'm good. Alright, so now we're coming to the tent, the cardboard box that Namba used to live on, and to see if we can find any clues of his whereabouts. Hey. This is no place to bring a proper lady, you know. Chief. What happened to Nanba, Ichiban? Excuse me. Well, he got himself into some trouble, so we're, we'd like to take a look at stuff. You're just gonna dig through your friend's stuff without his permission? It's our only hope of saving him. Don't get us wrong. <laughs> I see. I won't stop you then. We'll leave as soon as we're done. Nostalgic coming back here. Here it is. <laughs> What's th is this smell? In combination of sweat and mold? Okay. Yeah, reeks in here. See anything that might help us find where he is? Hey. Hey, what about in here? Yeah, that's important. A laptop, not exactly a common homeless commodity. I'd say that's right on the money. Really? How do you use this thing? What are you typing? I'm doing some research searches that comb through the whole the whole hard drive. Mm -hmm. Searches? Yeah, if we search, if the search gets a hit, we'll check out the file. Mm. A, a hit? Gotta remember, Ichiban's been in prison for a long time. Hey! Just shut up and watch, would you? I'm not much a computer guy myself. Let, let's let her hand this one. Sajan, you know how computers, you know computers and stuff? Well, I did my club's book, so I learned enough. And am I finally earning some respect around here? Absolutely. Please be our sage in this faded hour. Mm -hmm. mm. This one's suspicious. In Jincho Incident, draft version two. Yeah. Let's see what's in that one. Hey, you know how to use computers too? Well, I clearly know more than you. <sighs> you traitor. Was this an article he was writing for a magazine? It says it was written by Shoichi Akaba. Hmm? Shoichi Akaba? That's Namba's brother. Yeah, uh, mysterious fake money emerges in a Jincho. The truth behind the rumors. Where are the counterfeit? Uh, where are the counterfeit bills? The truth behind the rumors. Yeah. Yo. Check it out. It says the rumors about the fake money started over 50 years ago. 
He really did his homework on these old documents. Dogbus brother is pretty good. Hey, yeah. hey, is this true? This is the fake money could be traced to the chair of the Citizens Liberal Party. Mm -hmm. That would be o Oki Kuba. Uh, Oki Kubo, right? He's the top of the political party. Well, Yokohama is Oki Kubo's district, but it doesn't seem likely that would go all the way up to him. CLP ch party chairman Yoki Ku uh, oh, account for money ended up in the party veteran Oki Kubo's pocket. Yo, Yutaka, y wait, Yutu, Yotaka, Yutaka, Yo, Yotaka, Yotaka. Ogi Kubo, what's okay. his deal? He's almost 80 years old, makes him the oldest member of the CLP. Though people say he, the Prime Minister himself is just Oki, Oki Kubo's yes man. He's got major political clout. Sounds like some kind of fixer. Mm. Sounds shady as hell to me. Actually, he's never been dragged into anything scandalous over his years, unlike most of the big politicians. That's probably how he's stuck around so long, to be honest. But theoretically, if the fake money is going to Ogi Kubo, does that mean he's linked to the Gomi Jewel and that purple-haired harpy? Hmm. But in that case, it wouldn't just be the Gomi Jewel. Xiao and Lu Meng would all have to be in on it. He's the one provide the paper, right? But skimming the article, I don't think there's much of a smoking gun in here. So all this business about Ogi Kubo being involved is just unsubstantiated rumors. Okay. True. Even if the article went out, it'd just be liber... liberous. Liberous. And people would probably just write it off as being gossip or tabloid nonsense. But as for us, we actually know the fake money exists. Right. Which means we have to assume there's some kernel of truth in this article. But even with that being said, isn't it kind of a stretch to connect Ogi Kubo to counterfeiting? I see. Hmm. Something just made sense. What did Namba do his brother's article from the start of the whole thing? So when he saw the misprint fake bill that I had on me, he played dumb, but must have made him jumpy. No doubt, that's probably why he realized when he realized his brother's story had some truth to it after all. And if it's also probably his first sign of hope in a long time. That's gotta be why he latched onto me like he did. Damn. Damn it. Wish I would have known no sooner. He didn't do anything wrong. So, the Gomi Jewel's boss still has your bill. Yeah, I'll have to get it back from her next time we meet. You think she'll just hand it back to you? Let's focus, guys. The only thing we've learned here is Ogi Kubo's name. <sighs> There's nothing here that would have given us any hint of where no Namba went. For me and up with her at 2 a.m., right? Yep. Yeah, we should probably start heading to Hian Tower. You think the person she wants us to meet is Oki Kubo himself? A politician? No way. Oh, you know what? While I'm here, let me use this. Ah, that's some good stuff. Alright, so we're running all the way over here. I'll take a taxi. To the closest area. I'm not playing you right now. I'm doing straight up story. Alright, I think that would be close to location. Then we'll go south and uh, check locations out from there. <laughs> All right. So, a, posh, a politician of Kubo is linked, maybe, to the counterfeit in some way. No, nope, ignore me, fellas. Sorry, not today. I am a party member, sure, and. Oh, I got ping on the Discord. Is it? Oh, nope. Not important. Oh, steam buns. 500 yen each. I can buy some of those. They're actually decently. Yeah, you know what? I'll buy. Th I have two. 20. 
Sega Arcade. You know what? Why not? I'll do one round of something here. It's a shame Sega shut down all their club Segas. Oh, excellent. Alright, one day I am going to go around and do all of these, and I shall do it. I can't wait, because I suck at Virtual Fighter. I, I am not a fighting game guy. Never really bad. Should I open it? Got it! Yeah, open it. A vintage guitar. That's my second one. Oh, wait. I should help this guy out, at least. I really do not have the money. Where's a hero when I need one? That must be my client. Time to play the part of a hero. Uh, th it's a three-star work gloves. So I, I was going souvenir shopping when all of a sudden I got mugged, and the police are nowhere to be found. Way to create safe shopping atmosphere. This is happening near the parking structure. Time to clean up. I'm the hero you need, though it's just part-time thing. Anyway, let's get down to business. <laughs> Don't butt in where people are talking. I'll collect from your ass too then. Alright, let's, let's do this. Here we oh, go. That's a big bottle. Alright, he's drunk. Um, yeah, why not? Oh, I didn't go the way I planned. Come on. Damn it. Oh no, not my stamina light. I like that. Um Let's go! Give me that back. Thank you. Damn it, two out four. Right. You know what? Have a ashtray on me. I wanna know why she's carrying a bunch of ashtrays. That's how you do it. Nice. Okay. I guess going on a shopping spree in a heavily populated area comes its own risk. If I but I'll run into any more trouble during my vacation here, I'll ask you again. With finesse. No problem. Yay. All right, that takes care of that. I'll do those types of things, either off stream, uh, off recording, or you know, I'll just do a whole recording of doing part-time hero things. I'll just probably do some of them as I go, but the collector thon ones, I'll do them when I feel like it. Think it broke confidence. Excellent, my confidence is level three, and we are not touching those. Looks like we're going there. Uh, this place. Pecking duck. <sighs> Hyun Tower, huh? Very fancy spot. Think they'll treat us to a meal? <laughs> if that's the case, you wouldn't even pass the dress code. Huh? Why? Besides, it says right at the door, no Yakuza or ex-Yakuza allowed. For real? Seriously? I say I'm going to pause it real quick. Seriously? It was a joke, dummy. We're not alive, but we're not here to eat regardless. Don't tease. I never got to come here to come to these kind of places. Listen. What about me, though? My clothes pass? Eh, I'd say you're in the same boat as Ichiban. I knew I should have changed. Hey! As I was saying, we're not here to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. Shall we go? Shall we then? I'm not gonna lie, I think Ichiban uh, outfit is better than, uh, than Adachi's, personally. At least he's wearing a suit. Nobody's here. You sure this is the place? 
Aw, are you scared? Don't be so wimpy. I thought you were a cop. That was a long time ago. I'm a driving instructor now. Ah, Dachi-san's just allergic to fancy restaurants, that's all. He's a man of basic tastes. It's true. I only ever go to fast food joints. Ugh, that's so gross. Also true. Right on time. But everyone's already inside, waiting for you. Well, we weren't late, so you don't get an apology. And I wasn't expecting one. I just thought I'd let you know. Of course, now you're making them wait further. And who is them, by the way? You'll see. Go in, please. There's no need to worry, Kasuga-san. You have the Jungihan guarantee that no harm will come to you here. Hard to trust the guy who was pointing a gun at me just a few hours ago. Ah, but now we are outside the bounds of the Great Wall of Muscle. That changes things. Yeah, I hear her. Here we go. I'll make sure that we pull my joystick so it doesn't disconnect. <laughs> well, 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 the engine. Yo, Kasuga kun. How you doing? Xiao. And... <laughs> hey, what's up with the old guy? Watch it. That's Ryuhei Hoshino, the Seiryu clan chairman. What? But if he's here, then that would mean they're... Yeah. The E Gene Three. The three most powerful people. All the leaders gathered in the same spot. Kasuga, think you can tell us what the hell is going on here? <sighs> They're all working together. Oh, that's the end of the chapter, eh? All right. Bleached black. Please, step inside. Hey, aren't these three supposed to be fighting a war? Supposed to be. Kind of a weird place for us to meet, Chairman Hoshino. Especially considering the three of you look more like you're ready to have a tea party than tear each other's throats out. Usually we meet only once a year, unless there's a need to share information face to face, as we must now. We always do what it takes to keep the Great Wall intact. Your men are killing each other out there. You don't want to stop them? Stop them? Two of my youngest men were gunned down without mercy. Liamang Turf's been raided right up to the perimeter of their base. There's no stopping any of it now. At this point, whoever retreats first will have lost the war. I can't lay down my spear until that happens. That's pretty much the same deal for me. So then why are you two here? Gonna decide the war over a game of cards? <laughs> Not the worst idea. What the fuck? People are dying! And meanwhile, you three are just hanging out playing nice? Think your men would approve? Do any of you even care what your own people think? Kasuga, there's no need to throw fits about what you don't understand. Do you know right now Captain Takabe is Xiao's prisoner? <laughs> prisoner? We're treating him more like an uninvited guest. Honestly, I'd let him go if I had one good reason to. I just don't. That's all. So you're going to sit here and do nothing? Just let the chips fall where they may? That's how it needs to be. A bunch more pointless deaths is how it needs to be? They're not pointless. Our men's willingness to fight is the entire reason we're able to serve as checks on each other. 
As long as the triangle remains balanced, it can hold firm against outside pressure. It's much like how Japan established separation of powers after the end of its dictatorship. It's not perfect, but it's the best solution we have. Do you see the logic there? Oh boy, a post-war history lesson. What? That's what you're comparing it to, right? Yes, because it's relevant. The post-war period is when the town's lines of power were drawn. Huh? The black market was born from the ashes of the war. It laid the foundation for modern-day Jincho. Back then, the Seiryu clan was thriving. But in Chinatown, two rival Chinese gangs were competing for dominance. The winner of that fight prospers in Chinatown to this day. The gang that lost became the Yokohama Liumang. They were driven out of Chinatown and into Ichincho. But the Seiryu clan wasn't about to take that kind of invasion lying down. For a time, the Gus practically ran with Liumang and Seiryu blood. Man, you're gonna lecture until the bell rings, Professor? You want to understand what's going on? Then you need the history, you smartass. If you want to understand the fake money, that is. The Seiryu clan knows about that? Yes. All the fake money printed by the Komi Jewel goes through me. But doesn't that mean the Seiryu clan is the real puppet master behind all this? How do you figure that? Mabuchi started forging Chinese Yuan, sure, but only because of the counterfeit yen. I think I'm starting to figure all this out. The Liu Mang brings in the paper, the Komi Jewel prints the bills, but then the Seiryu clan keeps all the profit? Wait, are you all in this together? Kasugakun, calm down, you're jumping to conclusions. Because I'm pissed off right now! First, I'm kidnapped, accused of being a Seiryu Yakuza, then blamed for being the spark that ignites a war, nearly killed over Namba's thing. Now I'm here with the Ejing Three, who, by the way, don't even give a shit about the war. Tell me, why should I calm down? He's got a point. And you, with your damn Seiryu clan, you're the one getting the most out of this. No, because we're not the final destination of the fake Yen. That will be Yutaka Ogikubo's pocket. Yutaka Ogikubo? I saw his name in an article. He's some big shot in the Citizens' Liberal Party. All three of you are working together to support him politically? Why? Huh. Suddenly my history lesson seems relevant, doesn't it? <sighs> Fine. Get on with it. Ogikubo is the man who proposed making fake money in Ijincho. This was 60 years ago. He pitched the idea to the first Seiryu chairman and first Liumang boss. A politician suggested committing federal crime to a bunch of gangsters? For real? At the time, Ogikubo was only a member of the city council. But he saw the fights breaking out between the long-established Seiryu clan and the newly arrived Liumang. He understood it was, in essence, a turf war. Knowing that, he looked for solutions to stop the bloodshed, solutions that would save lives. And eventually, he managed to find an answer. Fake money, of all things. Industry. Which in this case is, yes, fake money. Okikubo split the roles up evenly. That way, both organizations would have a common goal. The Liumang would import special paper, the Seryu clan would print and transport the money. How did Ogikubo know the counterfeiting process? He didn't at first. But since he had faith in his plan and a desire for peace, he used every single connection he had to collect the raw materials, plus the recipe. Counterfeiting wasn't that difficult back then. Currency didn't have all the security features it has now. It's only gotten harder over the years. But anyway, after the first batch was printed, Ogikubo used it to bribe the cops. The cops? Not the Seiryu clan or the Liumang? There would have been no point in paying off those two. That conflict goes deeper. Ogikubo understood that. Okay, but why give it to the police? They wanted to control them, of course. Under the 
blink of an eye, they became his loyal servants. That ought to surprise no one, given how corruptible law enforcement tends to be. Anyway, Ogikubo had his new minions in uniform crack down on one certain region of Ijincho. Well, that doesn't sound like such a bad thing. Yeah, he was making the city safer, right? Now that was just a side effect of what he really wanted. To squash every attempt by the Seiryu to drive out the Liumang. All police resources were dedicated to that one goal. They created a tiny pocket of Ijincho that was essentially violence-free. <laughs> well, I bet that worked out great for the Liumang. Oh, and you're the sharp one, I take it. Yes. That zone became the Liumang's home. So there it was. A place controlled by a criminal organization, but with low crime. The first Grey Zone. And the Seiryu clan just accepted that, hmm? Why would they give up their territory and all its income streams like that? Because they were getting continuous payouts from the counterfeiting operation. And that wasn't the only thing. Anytime one of us did something that normally would have landed us in hot water, Ogikubo would contain it. He kept it off police reports. That kept us from losing men to the law. So there were plenty of benefits for us. All while we kept our honor. This Ogikubo's a pretty shrewd guy. Nah. He just used some old tricks every politician knows. Oh. Well, perhaps. But do you understand now how we benefit from him? Yeah. Yeah, I get it. And my people reap those benefits also. In the 80s, the Komijol was saved by the Ijincho Grey Zone. How? Our parent organization was the Jingon Mafia, which formed decades ago in Korea. Even only a few years ago, he was a body double for their leader. But every time the Jingon Mafia got crushed, some of its people would drift to Ijincho. My mother was one of those. I was young when she brought me here. Ijincho was a breath of fresh air after living so long under their ridiculous code. More and more people heard about the relief we found here. So more came. But then our safety was threatened by something else. As our numbers grew, so did our clashes with the Yokohama Liomong. You started fighting them? Not outright. Ogikubo stepped in, right before a real war erupted. He brought us a proposal, that we take over the Seiryu's counterfeiting business. It was an offer of steady income and safe territory. How could we refuse? In return, we would perform the surveillance necessary to contain the secret. That's how we started to build a system that now monitors every inch of Ijincho. It became our way to contribute to the smooth running of Ijincho, alongside the Seiryu and Liomang. So that's the origin story behind the Ijin 3. Ever since, we've all supported Ogikubo. And he's supported us in kind. He used the huge streams of money from us to secure his seat at the helm of the Citizens' Liberal Party. Now, no one in the cabinet can speak against him. After masterminding a way to bring peace to the city, he moved up in the world. Well, there are worse ways to climb the ladder, but I can't condone it. It's still a cover-up. <laughs> really? So you would say even perfect results don't matter if the methods are flawed? What about the police themselves? What about their alliance with all the Yakuza which grew from the scorched earth of post-war Japan? Light and dark joined hands to rebuild, and that's how we got where we are today. You can't deny the ends justify the means. Ah, well... Why does it even matter what happened? Who cares about that stuff right now? It's all in Eugene Show's past. What we gotta think about is its future. So why'd you call us here? What do you want? <laughs> What's the Eugene 3 gonna do with us, Anamba? Oh, oh, okay. Your friend, Anamba-kun, during his search for his brother, spied on us and invaded our privacy. I assume he began with the fake bills because that was his brother's subject of investigation. 
but he was reckless, digging through Comey Jewel affairs like a rabid raccoon. Right from the start, he's refused to show any respect to the e Gene 3. Now he's seen the counterfeiting for himself, and we have no idea where he is. We must ensure his permanent silence. Why are you telling us this? Are you looking to make a deal for his life or something? A deal? Kasaga, under most circumstances, all your lives would be forfeit. <laughs> but I have some idea of how this fake bill ended up in your pocket. What? Huh? You do? Out of respect for this person, I will look the other way. But who the hell was it? If you really want to know, you'll have to bring Namba to me. Personally. We can't do that to Nanchan. Sure is tempting. Kasago, but I'll pass. Nothing I need to know so bad that I'd sell out a friend. So we done here? You do realize, if word gets out about the counterfeiting, the Great Wall will crumble. And that means the end of the Grey Zone. Yeah, that would suck. For you. Look, the Great Wall keeps the peace with less than honorable means, sure. But it provides a safe haven for desperate souls with nowhere left to turn. Yeah, man, I get all that. Well, here's what you don't get, you moron. When we say no one gets in, that includes the Tojo clan and the Omi Alliance. So see, if we're talking about people who owe their lives to the Grey Zone, you're one of them, Kasugaku. Uh, what? After you were shot, the only reason the Omi didn't finish you off is because you were inside the zone. What are you trying to say? That I owe something to the city? Yes, actually. Go ahead and act like you're above it all. But you've benefited from our operation as much as any of us. Fine. Still doesn't mean I'm gonna sell out a friend. Before you insist on that, I have something important to say. Yeah, what? We already have assassins hunting Namba. What the hell? Whose assassins? Mine. Somebody had to step up. That stepping up in your book? Hunting an innocent man? Unlike you, Kasuga. I don't turn down attractive offers, but don't worry. I told my guys to make it painless. But, uh, my men have gotten a little rough lately. You son of a bitch. Cool him off! No can do. I think one death for the sake of the whole city is worth the price. What do you say to our offer now? If you refuse, Namba will die. But aren't you gonna kill him all the same if we bring him to you? Instead of worrying about that, worry about getting to him first. Your clock's ticking. Hey, we don't even know where to look. I may have an idea. Well, there you go. So, Kasuga, given all this... What will you do? I mean, guess I'm rescuing Namba from your stupid assassins. Uh oh. I wonder if there's anything in here. Oh. Oh, I could talk to each of them. <laughs> Namba's in pretty deep, a uh, pretty tight spot. And. Hey, yeah. So, who gave you the fake bill? I'm worried about Nonchan, of course, but that got me curious. Alright. <clears throat> you wanna know where Nanba-san is right now, Kazuga-san? You already found him. No. All I says, I have an idea. I can't be certain. But the Yokohama Liamong are searching for him on their own terms. Where's Nanba? Yo! So, where's Namba then? There's no indication he's left in Jincho. That would be impossible while the Gomi Jewel has him in our sights. Hmm? Could he have gone to the police? I don't think he would risk that. He'd have no way of knowing which officers are sympathetic to the Injin 3. So, where would he go then? Yes. If I were Namba's son, I would think Bleach Japan would be 
my best bet. Hmm? Bleached Japan. I see. I get it. It's possible they would be willing to protect him, huh? I've already increased the surveillance detail on the Blage Japan office. We haven't sighted him there yet, but it's possible he's already inside. Hey, yeah. What should we do, Ichiban? Let's say we catch Namba and bring him here. What would you guys do with him? That's not my call to make. However, if you do nothing, the Liamong assassins will eventually succeed. It's only a matter of time. Damn it. Yo. We don't have time for this, Kazuga. If we're gonna find him first, we have to take the best bet. Sup? Where's the Bleach Japan office? The Hark Haru Haka -ur Haka -ur Hakurio. Hakuru? Hakurio. Hakurio building at Courage Highway. There are Yokohama branches on the second floor. Alright. I can read, I swear. Alright. Now we're going to the Bleach Japan offices and ignoring all the. Oh, actually, all the side quests disappeared. That's how serious this quest is. All right, we'll take the taxi here. We're up north. All right, guys, let's go. I don't need anything from you. I just bought food. Oh wait, let's see. Irashimasu. Heat knuckles. Arigatou gozaimashita. When daytime hits in this game, I'm going to change classes, do side quests, and probably farm off stream. Not stream, jeez, I'm streaming. I'll farm off a uh, video. I doubt anyone wants to watch me do this, the grind grind. Alright, he's over there. Let's teleport here. So far, I think I'm pretty good, so let's do it. I love how I keep just bumping into them. Like, get out of my way. Nope, we got tubbies over there. Go to the gym and lose some weight. I will be at this restaurant after. Uh, actually, you know what? I might need a buff. Oh. Alright, let's see. Just get one of everything. Who's hungry? Mm, maybe I should get some sashimi. You're going all out today, Sachan. Hey, it's not every day you get this many choices in front of you. And they're all good, too. Oh, you got a point there. I wonder what I should get. Oh, and don't hover with your chopsticks. It's rude. Wouldn't dream of it. Once I lock onto something, I go in straight for the kill. You are so full of it. Mm. Is there a reason you're just staring at our food? Ugh, it's so hard to choose. I knew it. Hmm. All right, we're almost close to a rank three with you. Oh my God, XP. All right, this is the XP place. Oh, that's amazing. I am going to eat at that place a lot off screen. Oh my god, I got three XP boosters right now. Oh man, if I get in a battle, that's going to just... Oof. All right, one second. I actually want to save. There are certain things, if I remember correctly, that are about to happen. I'd rather have a save state in case I die. That's as simple as I can make it. What's this place? I don't remember. Oh, golf. VR golf. Oh. Oh, damn it, he's silenced there. 
Could get hit by a car. I'm not I hate it. Right. You want to go? Check this out. This isn't good for Kyle's gun. You're not looking good. Damn it. Make it count. That'll be good. Come on. I'm gonna skip. Let's go. Come on. I wasn't there. There we go. We'll fight to the end. Probably should get him first. Thanks, yo. Let's You're get it get done. Stopped. Check this out. You are ready. I'm up! I'm gonna have to eat again. Holy cow. It's a good thing I know about this. Try this on the side. Cool. Alright, let's try this again. Come on now! Desperate times call for desperate now! Well, that absolutely sucked. I'm here, but the mine. Alright, I'm too lazy. Uh, do we still have that? Yes, we do. We still have the buff. Good, good, good. But now, let's heal. So good. Very good. Oh, good. I mean, I buy these and might as well use them, am I right? Yes. It works. Oh, no. good. Alright. You made it. Hmm? Who are you? I'm here to kill you just as I did that piece of filth, Matsuo. Hmm? Matsuo? Wasn't that the guy the Gomiju hired to attack the What was bar? that? Wait, you killed him? On whose orders? No one's. I made the call. Sion Hon was bitching that I went too far. She's just a coward. And I don't take orders from cowards, so I left the Gomi Jewel. My new partnership is already providing much larger returns. And who would that be? Nothing you need to know, especially since you're not getting past me. You'll die like Matsu did. <laughs> That's right. It sounds like I'll be walking right over your broken ass pretty soon. But too late to take it back now, you fucker. Uh oh. Oh, you're actually not that bad, and you're drunk already. Check this out. What's it? Hi. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna just strike you down. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, I wish someone followed up with that. Oh, that was easy. You're all talk, no bite. Here we go. Is this where we'll find Be Bleach Japan? I can see lights on the second floor. Someone's in there. Yo. Who knows who's waiting for us in there? Let's be careful. Alright, now we save again. Alright, let's do this. Hey, do you know what time it is? Uh, hello to you too. Kume-san, right? Sorry to barge in like this, but I wanted to see if our buddy was here. You... How did you know? Yo, Ichiban. Hey, I knew you'd find a decent place to hide. Hey man, we gotta hurry. The Yijing Three sent Liu Meng assassins after you. The Liu Meng? Not Komiju? Hmm. Is it just you three? No backup? Just us, sorry to say. I see. And you have business with Nambasan? Yeah. And who are you? I haven't seen you around. <laughs> and here I thought people were watching more TV these days. Oh. I know you. You're the director of Bleach Japan. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen you on TV. My name is Ogasawara. I'm here lending my support to our Yokohama branch. The Grey Zone in Ijincho is one of the worst in the country. The police have just given up on it. But still, I never expected to find this. Counterfeiting legal currency? <laughs> Atrocious. So Namba spilled the beans, huh? Let's not mess around. You guys need to get out of here, now. We'll even go with you if it'll help you escape. That includes you, Namba. Kasuga, was this your plan all along? <laughs> Why exactly do I need to turn and run? It's not just the Komichu who are involved. The heads of the Seiryu clan and Yokohama Liumang are in on it. They sent the assassins after Namba because he knows their secret. You're screwed if you're here too, civilian or not. Ogasawara-san! I think this guy's bluffing with all the assassin talk. He's just trying to ruffle some feathers. No need to panic. No. I think he's telling the truth. What? To be honest, I thought you might be assassins yourselves. But not once you said it was just you three. That's not great wall of muscle strength. Um... I don't get it. Aren't assassins supposed to be in small groups? Oh dear, dear Kume-kun. You have so much to learn about these criminals. But ignorance often breeds courage, and that's what I needed in the Ijincho arm of Bleach Japan. That's... uh... Ogasawara-san, what are you getting at? No kidding. You sure you're a civilian? <laughs> of course I am. I just know more about the criminal underworld than your average dipshit. What is with this guy? I think it's about time you come out. Lao Ma! Lao Ma? Mabuchi, why are you here? I'll handle this, Director. Thank you. My service is customer satisfaction guaranteed. Then we'll take our leave. Let's go. Hey, Namba, wait! I already told them all about the counterfeit bills. I just want to find my brother. Whether he's alive or otherwise. Um, Ogasawara-san, what about me? Mabuchi. <laughs> Give this simpering piece of human garbage a fitting end. Didn't think this is where I'd finally see your mug. No, of course not. My own boss doesn't know I'm here. That said, I did want to meet you. I haven't been able to give you a message from Nonomiya! Alright. This is gonna be fun. Slice them up however you want. Here we go. 
Oh, they hurt. They hurt. Get cocky. Must be careful here. They will hurt me. Oh, he's drunk. Damn it. No. Let's not take damage you don't need. Almost. Come on, guys. Pick it up. You're gonna get so Let's go. It's not ready now. Here we go. Cool. All right, let's heal her up before this fight ends. Not that down. Here you go. Thank you. I got this. <laughs> right. I got the go yeah. Here. Thank you. Yeah. I'm getting ready right now. You have to give me a second. Uh, 15's huh? not gonna do anything. Take it. Appreciate it. All right, I think we're healthy now. Here we go. Take your best shot. It's all ready now. Good enough. Uh, cool. This is going to be a hard. This is one of the first really hard boss battles. You have to be careful, or this one will just. Yeah. Alright, Mapuchi, let's do this. Look who finally made an appearance. What the hell is up with that spear thing? Oh, I've seen it before. On a statue of Guan Yu, it's a legendary Chinese weapon. So, Mabuchi puts himself on a level with ancient Chinese heroes? If he does, he's in for a rude awakening when I break his little stick! Right. Makes me want to play, uh, what's Where it called? Dynasty first? Warriors. You want to go? <laughs> Alright, may lower... Lowers on these defense. I doubt those are going to have any effect on them. Okay, so let's just cheer him. We're in this together, guys! Alright, we're gonna Berserker. You're not scared of my spear, are ya? You're gonna be in the He attacks so fast. Alright. Let's go! Here we go. It's time ready. Oh, yeah? That's picking time. Come on now. Uh oh. Gotta do something about this. You're in it now. Going in. We'll fight to the end. No, heal. Do not engage oh, as help. much as I'd love to. Cool. He's next. Wait, I can always... Not yet. I'm gonna save Don't that for a rainy day. Hmm. Give him the 300 HP. Here! Hey! You do something. If I can bring... You. Try this on the sky! How will you ever forgive? Damn it. Nice try. I'm back One of these days. Pain in I the got ass. this. Let's go. Let's see. All right, here's the problem. Oh, Mabushi's getting serious now. 
Yeah, I think he's in a bad mood. Is that literally fire coming out of him? That's your game of brain talking again. But fire or not, oh, he's angry as hell. No problem. Let's just deal with him. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh oh, that good. Take your best shot. You're gonna get stomped. Oh no. Okay. I don't have any MP. Some cup sake. And then I'm gonna count the pound me. Cool. Okay. Cool. I call. No. I'm not backing down. Oh wait. Or I could do you. Um, boost damage, best. more likely cause stun. Let's go. You know what? Let's do him. I was gonna do omelet for healing. I summon you. Okay, his accuracy has been lowered. That might help. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, is there anything that has a... Take your best shot. No, I don't. Okay. I'm ready now. It was worth looking. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. Alive. Oh, thank God, I'm still alive. I'm struggling here. I'm working on it, man. Huh? This is huh? This sucks. Who the? Huh? Trying, trying. Time to fall. A friend. Huh? I summon you. Yeah! I should make her debuff. You want sudden death or sudden? Service with a pounding. Thank you, Gary Buster Holmes. Please stun him. Damn it, that's not what I want. Oh, Jesus, he's not good. Alright, um, no, 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 no. Do the cute smile. Take away my bleeding. Pull it together, gentlemen. Appreciate it. Oh, that didn't do what I thought, did it? Alright, this is gonna be a Okay. Thanks, yo. Where do you wanna believe? Hold it together. Get a lot. Check this out! Alright, heal yourself again. Use the 200 left. Yep, back for one. Shot. We got this. Oh no. I'm not oh down. damn it. I am not happy. This is what I was worried about. It's a quarter oh, way left of one. But it's just. A Come on, hit, hit, hit. Alright, that's 900 damage. Uh oh. Oh, too late. We're too early. Alright, we got this. Try this on to side. Yeah. Alright, 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 alright. We got this. Oh, he's going for me. Oh, he hates me. He's mad. You're not scared of my gun, are you? I have enough. Let's finish him, Dodgy, please. Yes. Oh. Nice. Look at me go. It cost me a little bit of money, but we did it. Oh, he's such a hard... He's one of the first hard bosses in the game. Hoo boy. And I was not properly built for this.
I need a, uh, probably an <laughs> idol. What a rush. I forgot how great this can feel. Oh, good. You can still talk. Oh, yes. Hell? Are you enjoying this, you creep? Are you the one who killed our boss? I am. And I did. I slaughtered him. And hung him like a pig on a hook. Well, to start a fight with the Seiryu clan? <laughs> As they say, I was just following orders. Who told you to pull this kind of shit? The man you were just allowed to escape. The director of Bleach Japan. Ogasawara. He's the one who ordered you to kill Nonomiya? Why would he do that? <laughs> because what he's after is the Jincho itself. What's he on about? <laughs> He wants to expose where Yutaka Ogikubo gets all his money. <sighs> to do that, he had to put just a tiny crack in the Great Wall. <laughs> a crack? You mean Nonomiya's death? I don't get it. Ogasawara ordered a hit so he could get rid of the Grey Zone? <laughs> He's a Bleach Japan guy? I thought they were a bunch of goody two-shoes. My question is, why would you do their bidding, Mabuchi? Why do something that would turn the Ejin 3 against you? <sighs> Ogasawara has bigger, badder friends than the Ejin fleas. What do you mean? <sighs> the Great Wall. The Ejin 3. That's all over. The invasion starts tomorrow. Invasion? My Bleach Japan? No. <laughs> you still don't get it? Come on, Kasuga. What? The backers of Bleach Japan are the Omi Alliance in Kamurocho. Are you shitting me? I'm going to be Jincho's version of Masumi Arakawa. I'll sell this whole town to the Omi and get rewarded handsomely for it. Uh-oh. <laughs> They'll probably make me an officer. It's what I... <laughs> Don't ever compare yourself to Arakawa-san again. <laughs> nah, I'd break his Guys, nose. if the Omi Alliance is coming here... Yeah, about that. Let's go get that bastard Ogasawara to give us the lowdown. Well, he and Namba went into that back room over there. Yeah, I saw. Let's go find him. Do you really expect that they'd still be back there? Uh oh. They aren't, never mind. Ogasawara's gone. He went out an exit further back. Namba? Bleach Japan is gonna blow the lid off the counterfeiting scheme, which will crush the Gomi Jewel. Maybe, just maybe, they'll find my brother too. Nanchan. If only I could have done it myself. No one's ever meant more to me than my brother. Look at the life I've endured to try to find him. Did you see which way Yogasawara went? You really should steer clear of this mess, Ichiban. I just want to have some words. Stay out of it. Just stay out of it, man! Hey, you need to just focus on yourself right now. You got assassins after you. Just find somewhere to hide. At least until tomorrow. Mabuchi told us the Omi Alliance is coming tomorrow. They're invading. It'll be chaos. That's your chance to slip away, you get me? Can you do that? I didn't ask for your advice. Look, Nanchan. As much as this sucks for you, can you please think about the rest of us, too? Shut up! Think about what Mabuchi and Ogasawara did. They murdered Nonomiya out of pure greed. I know. But I need their help to find my brother. <sighs> really? You're just leaving? Wanna stop me? Go for it. 
Hell, attack me from behind. I don't care. You know we'd never pull that kind of shit. Don't be stupid, man. We're still buds. Ugh, don't say that shit. <clears throat> Ichiban. Hey, I know how this crap feels, but we don't have time for it. Let's focus on the task at hand. Searching this Bleach Japan office. I think it's back there, and this is our chance. No one's around. Yeah, you're right. I feel something very important is back here. What's up? Uh, this picture. What about it? The guy shaking hands with Ogasawara. I know him. Yeah, that's Ryo Aoki, the governor. That's back when he was younger. And considering the backdrop there, probably around the time he and Ogasawara started Bleach Japan together. Aoki had to leave his post in order to run for governor, though. He's governor? He's supposed to be dead. Huh? In Kamrocho. Someone told me he died. I thought it was true. Well, I don't follow. You know Ryo Aoki? Not Aoki. I know him as... The Young Master. Master. His name is Masato Arakawa. Sir. Hmm? During next week's budget deliberations, the opposition party is going to fight you tooth and nail. <laughs> Those fossils pushing for highway funding. It sounds yep, like they're strongly voice. against the infrastructure cuts. I imagine it's going to be a long fight. But you do have an appearance scheduled for that evening. Should I cancel it or maybe try to reschedule? I have an appearance? Oh, yeah. Isn't this the one for that newspaper? They invited a bunch of kids to that, I thought. Yes, sir. Let's not cancel it then. Wouldn't it look bad? I'm sure those parents have spared no expense making sure their children look presentable for an occasion like this, right? I'm sure, but... It'll be fine. I'm gonna run circles around those windbags and we'll have deliberations wrapped up in no time. We can't disappoint the children, can we? Understood, sir. We'll hold the appearance as scheduled. Mm. You know what? Why don't you call it a night? Good night, then. It's Ogasawara. Good news, I hope. I finally found it. The party chair's secret weapon. Turns out it was on the other side of the Great Wall of Muscle this whole time. <laughs> Go figure. If you have any of our visitors from Kansai you can spare, I could use the extra hands. <laughs> That's fine. We're already more than well-staffed in Tokyo. I'm willing to send you all the manpower you'll need. So Arakawa is following his son, who is the governor. Oh boy, that's gonna be a mess. Yeah, that's definitely a bad guy look. And bad guys and skyscrapers in Yakuza games always go well. I'm looking at you, Millennium Tower. Every time. <laughs> well, I guess we'll end this one here. How long have I been going? Well, it's actually quite short, but I think this is a wonderful stopping point. We got a lot of plot. A lot of plot.
Maybe too much plots. <gasps> nah. Alright, so we just got a few bombshells. Namba's now with the enemy trying to find his brother. Um, Masato Harukawa is actually alive and is now the governor of the city, going by a fake name. So maybe that has something to do with Arakawa being Omni Alliance. Now, we'll figure out what this all means next time. But until then, bye.